Hey guys, just checking to see if everything's all stable. It's just me today, no big voice, no big boss. So if there's any other, like any really technical questions, I can only answer maybe some of them, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Give me a sound check. It sounds like it's okay. Uh, so as you can see, we have a lot of stuff this week. So I think we'll just get started. Let's go here. We'll get some uh, Tamashi Nation stuff over here this week. So maybe like five or so. The rest is going to be all Bandai Hobby, like literally all Gundams, basically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got SH Figure Arts Denji now. As it comes with a little pochita and some uh, <coughs> magazines. I'll just say one magazine and his axe. Yeah, but the pochita with uh, two faces, no, three, fa three faces, yeah, three faces right here. Yeah. A lot of people ask about Figuarts Denji, but yeah, here you go, finally got him. <laughs> I think we had an early batch before too, or like another batch before. We have him back in stock now. So, Figuarts Denji. Next, I can't is, uh, is Figuarts Horse. Orphnock. I hope I pronounced that right. Horse Orphnock. It's from the Common Rider Fies series. It's him showing off the, the arc showing off the little battle with Fies. Hopefully you guys can see. Yeah. Horse Orphnock. It's a horse-like helmet. I think that's what <laughs> gives it the horse adjective. So a lot of these arts can be found on our website by now. Hopefully they should, all these products should be up by now on our website. Um, but give it a day or two. They should be at least at the very latest tomorrow. Yeah. But yeah. Figure arts, for example, Gundam, all this, all these new stuff. You just check them toyarena.com. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll get to this. We'll, we'll get to this big boy soon. <laughs> like really soon. Let's fin uh, finish showing off some of the Tamashi Nation stuff we got, and I'll get right to it. <laughs> but yeah, so another figure arts from Kamen Rider. It's phase variation, Bada Augs from Shin Mast Rider. Learned some stuff about it today. I don't know if I'm qualified to talk about it, but apparently these are like the bad guy grunts, and like, um, like cloned army of them. I don't know if they're cloned, but an army of these guys and these augmented armor and also with their phase variation battle augs cyclone so this is their motorcycle another figure arts these these um, typically go together and then as you can talk this is the army that i learned about today <laughs> saw you in store on the weekend oh oh is that was that you okay <laughs> it was nice meeting you in person <laughs> yep yeah, you guys are uh, welcome to come by, say hi. Usually I'm here a lot. <laughs> I've seen some people walk up to me and call me the live stream guy. Hey, that works too. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Figure Arts, Common Rider from Shin Kamen Rider. This is the Battle Augs, a phase variation of Battle Augs stuff. So, and then finally, last but not least, the Saint Seiya Cygnus Hyoga. Is that a, I think it's a swan. Another 20th anniversary release for the Saint Seiya. We had Pegasus before, so I think sold out for now. And we still have some of the Shiryu 20th anniversary as well, but those are running low. But we finally got a stock of the Hyoga. So get them while you can. All, all of them are running out pretty quick. I mean, Pegasus was only a month ago and they're already almost gone. Or no, Pegasus is gone and Shiryu was a week after and they're almost gone. So it's like, get them quick. Not much box art here. The 20th anniversary just has like different colored armor and then the special stands. And that's about it, I think. Yeah. yeah. Again, just more pictures are online. Just uh, these boxes can only fit so much on them and you know, Whereas website endless. 
Alright, so let's uh jump right to the destroy condom, I guess. The big box right here. Ooh. Gotta untetris it, as they say. So yeah, this is a high grade. <laughs> The high grade destroy gun that we finally have them in stock. I know people have asked about them before. We uh, trust me, we were surprised about this shipment for this too. We uh, didn't expect it to all arrive at once, uh, as you can see. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I'm, uh, when people ask us about ETAs, we we all honestly don't know they just show up. <laughs> but yeah, high grade destroy gun, one to one forty four scale. This is only a hundred and forty fourth of the size. That's kind of crazy, but it's got an amazing box art. And you guys can tell just the blurry little freedom right here. I don't know if you guys can see. Maybe. And then you got the little blurry force impulse right here. <laughs> That's the relative scale that it'll be. Um, again, will it be available online? Yes. Yes, it will be available online and in our showroom and at Frankenstein's. All, all locations should be stocked while supplies last. Emphasis on while supplies last. Because, uh... I mean, if we run out, we run out. <laughs> so the cool thing about this one, yeah. it comes with a, a, like a ton of beam effect parts. Hopefully you guys can see, it might be a little hard. Uh, all these pictures are again are online, just by, I wanted to point them out while they're on uh, with the pictures on the box. Bunch of beam effects. This can transform into its little crab mode. It's like a bipod mode, basically, like this. Oh, and then here's the beam effects all in, in the full glory. All of them, the beam cannons here, the individual ones, and the finger beams. <laughs> finger beams. And then also the beam cannons in its bipod mode. Yeah, so this is this thing's crazy. It can transform. It's uh, <laughs> another really cool thing. I don't guess. Do, do they show it on the pictures here? Oh, well, not really, but yeah, these fingers, each of these fingers on the kit are fully... Um, Adjustable, I guess that's the word. Like they, you, you, you can like they're individually jointed, so you can move them in different positions and stuff. I know some people are gonna put them in a certain posi finger position. Uh, I'm not gonna speak more about that, but you can have fun with that. <laughs> so you can do it with this kid. <laughs> yeah, high grade destroy. This box is bigger than some of the perfect grade boxes that we have. I don't think it's bigger than a lot. I think it's bigger than like some of them. Like honestly, it, this high grade is bigger than some perfect grades. But you know, the really big perfect grades, it's still a mat. It's still not a match for. Uh, another question and the mass grade narrative. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when they'll come. We're getting it for sure though, because the pre-orders we we have the pre-orders, and they'll only close once we are notified of the shipment or and or delivery of them. Yeah. So pre-orders. Actually, speaking of the pre-orders for this. Um, you should be getting them by either, like, like, as in like, they should be processed by today or tomorrow. Like process as in like, oh, okay, we got them, let us send them, start sending them out, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, if your destroyer was part of another order, like if you bought, you pre-ordered this and other stuff that hasn't come yet, this won't come until every part of the order is fulfilled. So just a heads up for that, okay? That's uh, pretty important to notify you guys about. But yeah, so pre-orders for this will be processed by hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so Hagrid Destroy. If you guys want to see it again, just let me know. Moving on. Some mass grades now. We, I mean, we still had some, but it's nice to always get more. A uh, restock of the mass grade Barbados. Excellent kit. Amazing bang for your buck. It's like 55 and then something like 60 after tax or something like that. Amazing. But oh, it may be even cheaper. I don't know. I'm telling you guys, it's a fantastic kit. I built two of these already, and I'll be gunning for my third one once I can fit it into my budget. <laughs> uh, because I specifically got the uh, all the other forms from P Bandai, so that's why. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, I can't wait to show that off. That'd be cool. There you go. And then now, Masquerade Red Frame Stray Kai. This is uh, Delta Kai. It was a, this is specific, specifically the one with this little Delta backpack here that turns into its big gigantic sword let me see if I they have a picture of it here oh yeah right here more pictures online of course just they do have some pictures on the box I would like to show you guys yeah and it also turns into this really cool like mechanical bow and beam arrow thing it's pretty sick <laughs> yeah but in its default form it looks it looks more like a uh, 
uh, winged triangle backpack. So that's why it's a delta backpack. So yeah, also really solid. It's it's a little old, it's a little um like twenty yeah twenty ten, but for the, for being so old, they're actually pretty fantastic. And then they still like can still hold a pose. They're still really poseable. But yeah, the Masquerade of Strays, that frame was on was something special basically. Moving on to some of the newer Masquerades, Masquerade Double Dynamis. With the, with this 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 double O reboot of uh, for the masquerade, I mean, I say reboot is because they did have double O masquerades before, you know, Quana, the X, uh, I mean, the Exia, the double O, and stuff like that. This one's like even newer, but they're going back to season one and remade them. So, but because they remade them, the engineering for these are just better. Like the joints fit tight, I'm way po I'm super poseable, a lot more gimmicks. They have this new GN frame that I think was uh, is like standard to all of them. Uh, the Curios is slightly different because it can transform, but this one and like the Natalie slash Virtue, amazing, amazing interference, amazing interference. So that's been restocked now. We sold it out for a little bit, but now we have it back in stock. So that nice. Uh, Transformers today, unfortunately not this week. Yeah. We got some last week. I think I don't know when we'll get the next one. Just not this week. This week was is all Bandai stuff. <laughs> Do you guys have Shockwave? Uh, no, not right now. Oh, wait. I'll check. Well, just a DM us on Instagram, and then I'll we'll like re report back to you guys basically as soon as we can. Right now, I can't go out and check. <laughs> okay, so moving on, moving on. Another Master Grade. This one's another oldie though. 2007, even older, even older than the Red Famous Trade, but Masquerade Crossbones, Gundam X1, full cloth. So the full cloth part is that little, the wing binders and the little um, front binders here. Let's give it that full cloth name. It's meant to like um, resemble like a giant cloak around the crossbone, X1. And it's, it's, it's just pirate theme, so it's, it's really sick. You got all these skulls and crossbones and stuff. You got a crossbow, you got the, what's the name? Ugh, I forgot the name of the uh, the weapon. Uh, let's see here. It's like Zanbaya or something. Someone will let me know. <laughs> but it's basically like the pirate sword. And you got a pirate crossbow and a pirate like pistol. <laughs> Just a bunch of pirate fiend stuff basically. Really sick. I'm getting mine for sure as soon as I can. Again, as soon as I can. <laughs> That one's higher on my log than the Barbados because I already have Barbados. I haven't had, I haven't had my chance to get this one yet because it was old. Finally came back. <laughs> All right. Moving on to another masquerade. This one from P Bandai. We've had it before. Now we've had. Now we have it restocked. Epion Sturm und Drang unit. So this takes the masquerade like Epion in the Swalt version. And then it's it the base is the same, but it has two special new equipment. Hence the name Sturm und Drang, the Sturm und Drang units right here on the um, arm bracers. They replaced the um, the beam the heat whip. The heat whip is still the, here in the kit. It's just uh, attached. Oh, there's no picture of it. It's attached to its uh, back instead. Oh, um, it means, hopefully you guys can see it in the box art. But yeah, it's attached to this little thing in the back instead, so it's like a dragon tail. And then because of the Sturm and Drang units, you get the beam saber, the beam sword, is absolutely massive now. Uh, I took out one uh, one of the runners to show, like uh, just to see um, before, but you guys will just find pictures on, on online and stuff. The beam saber, like the beam from that beam sword is now like the uh, length of this box. <laughs> They're just absolutely enormous, absolutely ridiculous and absolutely amazing. <laughs> but that's some fun stuff. But... Finally got it back in stock. Get yours as soon as you can because these P Bandai stuff are like the exclusive ones that are very limited in quantity. We can only get so, so many also, you know, so if they're out, they're out for a while. So this is not Master Grade, but it's a really, really cool 1 to 100. This is uh, technically no grade, just 1 to 1 to 100 scale. The Akatsuki Gundam with both the Shirinui and the Owash. Owash. Owashi. Oh, there you go. Owashi. Sorry, tongue twisters. <laughs> Shiranui and Owashi. 
So basically, these, uh, the Akatsuki Gundam, the one that you know Kagali debuted in, and then the Mu that eventually took over. I forgot his name. It's like Neo, Neo Roanoke is the name name they gave him in, Dis in Destiny. Yeah. So both packs, uh, Shiranoi is the one with the uh, I think the the Dragoons, and then the Owashi is the one with that looks more like the original Ale Strikes backpack. Yeah, really cool, full plated gold. Freaking sick. Get it while you can. This thing's gonna. I'm pretty dang certain this one's gonna run out like soon. Some more master grades. Got some restocks of the master grade gun cannon. Old UC stuff. <laughs> this is the firing position. Don't even get any, don't get any ideas. Don't give me any ideas. Don't give me any comments. That's the firing position. <laughs> Master Grade Gun Cannon. I'm going to put that away before it gets a little funny. <laughs> this one we haven't had in a while, actually. Master Grade Wing from the, the Endless Waltz version, basically. With more yellow decals all over. It's slightly redesigned in a Verkat esque way because Endless Waltz, the designer was actually. Uh, oh my god, I'm blanking out his name. Oh, whatever. It's the same designer as the Verkha designer. Oh, I'm blanking on the crazy. Katoki. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ennis Waltz did all the Katoki <laughs> designs. But <laughs> Glitch Studios, I'm standing by that. It is a firing position. That is that is it. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, I, I guess I should, I should show you guys. It, this one can also go into the Neo Bird mode. Or not Neo Bird, but to Bird mode too. Same as all the other wings. Yeah, otherwise it's it's just the, the exact same wing Gundam that's got a redesigned Buster Rifle, redesigned shield slash recharge units on the arms. And um, yeah, just just wing, but vercodified. <laughs> Moving on now, we got the Master Grade Shenlong, an another shipment of it, because we did get a restock of it just last week. But here's more. Another wing, the Death Scythe. So both of these were the are the endless waltz versions of them, of the season one ones, season one guns. Just more in stock, like even more in stock now. <laughs> You'll notice I'm uh, trying to go a little faster. We have so many kits, I just don't want to bog everyone down with all the, the sheer number. <laughs> Another two little casual restocks here. People have been uh, wondering about it, but I finally have more now. The Witch from Mercury weapon display base. So basically, this attaches to the uh, action bases four and five, the hexagon ones. Not the octagon, big octagon one, the action base one. And then helps you, like, because the Witch from Mercury has a bunch of bits and, like, funnels and drones and stuff on all their suits, on all the main suits at least. So uh, this is just to help display them. So it's a weapon display, but it's really just, like, the bits display. Or like, like you see here, the Daryl Blade, its arms can like detach off and fly by themselves. Yeah, so that's that. And then it goes with these kind of bases, you see? Oh, so I had an example of that restocked. <laughs> action Base 5 is the one example. 4 is just 3 of them with slightly longer arms. Yeah, but Action Base five, um, 5 and 4, these little hexagon ones. These two combined together. Then we got the restock them. I'll put them down here for now. Some 30 minute mission stuff. These are brand new, but these are really sick. <laughs> you got a horse, guys. You got a horse mecha. <laughs> I think this is the this is probably the first uh, in the line of stuff that they're gonna do because uh, I know the 30 minute like everyone knows the 30 minute fantasy stuff is coming out and fantasies uh, the fantasy realm usually has a lot of like horse things so. This might be like a basis for a lot of things, a lot of like kit bashes or like customs and stuff like that. And it's got a lot of custom points too. So you can make it a unicorn. I think here there's an example here where they put wings in the back to make it almost Pegasus like. And you can have a centaur mode for these because the, the hip joints and the neck joints can be are interchangeable. And or you can just have them simply ride a horse like in this uh, Spinatio Sengoku type. Oh, I see a comment here. Give me a second. 
Mikey Tripp was excited for the build event. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll get to the build event. Yeah, was excited for the build event, but can't make it next weekend. Got to scooter club right by Stepan coming out to check out the shop on Saturday. Oh, uh, yeah, Mikey, feel free to. I mean, just you can swing by. You don't have to stay. You can just come by, say hi, shop around, look around, etc. We're not, you know, we're not forcing people to come. It's just unfortunate that next week or this coming weekend has to be postponed because of rain. What can you do? Yeah, I'll go into more detail about that like right after. But yeah, but glad that you can at least stop by, Mikey. So here we go, another new um, thirty minute missions um, robot, I guess you can say Forester zero three. Oh, well, I guess in this pronunciation, it's Forestieri. Hmm. Ah, someone let me know. Forester is easier, easier to say, so <laughs> I'm gonna stick to that for a little bit. Yeah. This one's a deep blue with the orange clear parts nice little uh oh this uh, it's blue with dark blue and then it's got orange decals really nice color patterns that ashtray blue frame d basically at least <laughs> that's how i remember the color schemes with gundams of course but yeah this blue dark blue and orange really 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 cool i like it I know we jump from Gundams to like non gundam stuff. It's just all those Bandai kits. There's really a small amount of them that are non-Gundam. But I figured I'd just sprinkle them in to break some monotony. If there is any Gundams monotonous. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So another restock. This is the One Piece ship Red Force. Captain by Shanks. This one's not the... If there's, a, there's a movie edition that's like more... Like even more like a deep red or something like that. I forget. Um, but this one's the one of the earlier ones, so zero four. So this is just the original one. Red Force. Okay, moving on to oh, oh back to Gundam. Got a few more masterpieces here. This one is a fan favorite. I'm definitely sure. Wing Gundam Zero Endless Waltz version, but with the feather wings on all their glory. So this one, it's, uh, I mean, there's a Verkhov version of it, but this one still has its appeal because it follows much more closely the movie design. Because the Verkhov version of it was, is even more Verkhov, you know, because yes, this is designed by Kotoki, but then they took it another step, another step further in the Massacre Verkhov version and added more gimmick and stuff. This one still like holds more homage to the original like movie. So there are some fans who like this one more. Oh, it's also a simpler build too. So it's another thing. How does the non verka actually hold up? Well, I mean, it is way older. It's 2004, guys. 2004. That's 20 years. 20 years older. Um, I forget. I think the wings are a little heavy, so you have to watch out for that. Like, make sure you uh, tighten up some of the joints and stuff. Um, it definitely cannot like stand up unless you put the wings down on the ground. But it's 20 years old, so I, I comparing it in, in, engineering wise to the verka isn't fair. Because <laughs> that one's only like two or two or something years old. Yeah. But in terms of like looks, this one's still shelf, like amazing shelf presence. I see the better pictures. Yeah. Still amazing shelf presence. Still holds the poses. Like it can still do the beam rifle pose. It's just the uh, Verka one. Obviously, after like 20 years, it can do it way better. <laughs> yeah. This one's still really good. And like I said, this is basically for those who. Uh, it's a simpler build, number one, and number two, if they like the like that OG design a little more and the teched out Verkaz, you know, so it's, then this this would be for you. Hope that answers your question. Oh, this is hilarious too. Let me see if I have the I grab the other one. And then, I mean, speaking of Verkaz, we also have the Masquerade Wing, not the Wing Zero, but the Wing. In a Verka. So this is the original masquerade I showed you before. It's also been Verka fight. <laughs> the I mean, um, so I like a lot of Verkas, the main difference is that they've been redesigned with the base design and then slightly adjusted, and then with a bunch of decals. And then I mean for this one, the gimmick is just the transforming mode. So they didn't really have to worry too much about adding another gimmick for this. So this is technically just as solid as, you know, any other uh, mask would be. 
it just has a bunch of decals. Like, like this is the highlight point of it. All the decals are here. Hopefully you guys can see. Yep. Yeah. Um, some slight slimming of like some edges and stuff like that. Basically like a tokified squared. <laughs> this is like more edgy, slightly sharper edges here and there, all over. And that's about it. Yeah, but still really cool. And if you like decals, then you need you want you need a good recall. Start putting some stuff back, Make some space. So we have one more Peep Bandai kit. This one's a high grade from Iron Blooded Orphans. This one is not in the main series. It's the, uh, the Mobile Suit variant. I think it's from I think it's from the game. But someone tell me if I'm wrong because I haven't seen it. It's not in the series for sure. So it's most likely in the game or in the manga, or like some sort of uh, variant. But it's the Ortlinda. Ortlinda. But uh, I think in English it's Ortlinda. Ortlinda. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, it is from a manga. Yeah, okay, I thought so. Yeah, it's just, it's a mobile suit variant. That's all I remember for Iron Blood Orphans. I think it's like another like it's in the same branch family as like the Sigurd or like the the um, Sigrind, yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. So that's one one more high grade P Bandai. Uh, same thing from the Seed Universe. We have a bunch of new Seed kits that are in stock now. So many. I'll just. Uh, it's a Valkyrie trim, yeah, yeah. So Sigrun, um, I forgot the names of the other ones. They'll come back to me as I move along in process. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me start with these five. The main, the first five Gundams we saw in Gundam Seed. I mean, well, this one's a variant of it. Okay, <laughs> funny enough, but yeah, Perfect Strike as a high grade, which is really cool. I believe this base is also the one that's used, or the torso is used for the perfect strike freedom from the Build Fighters meta, you know? <laughs> yeah. So you can get uh, an, a, a, a high grade perfect strike on them. This one is not, I don't know if it's compatible with the revive version, the high grade revive version, but someone try, I mean, if it's not compatible, you can technically make it compatible, you know? High grades are good for that. Really, really good for that. <laughs> Yeah, we have a restock of the high rate Aegis. This one came first. Well, this was this came in the first wave of of like the high grade seed reissues, but now we have even more. Oh, I see a comment. Yo, I do cool ass Transformers photos and customs. Oh, cool. I mean, yeah. Sorry, we don't have any Transformers this week. I, they just haven't reissued any this particular week. We had some last week though. Yeah. So if you want to check out that or like check our stock, just go on our website. That kind of thing. So these three, these three are brand, are brand new. Eh? Like we haven't had them in stock either in a while or ever. <laughs> so we got the hybrid Blitz Gundam. This one is the one that can go invisible, using those uh, Mirage Colored particles that, like, honestly, are like black box uh, science. You know, <laughs> this particle can make you invisible and create mirages and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of stuff it can do. It's just like the GN particle. <laughs> Then we have a high grade Buster Gundam. So the mass grade version of this is fantastic. Just, and we still have it too, by the way. So you can, if you if you if you want to get like something that's really good engineering, mass grade is also fantastic. But this one's nice. Just a high grade. It's a simple, it's solid. Can go can go wrong with it. And I don't think there's there's not too many points of uh, color correction for stickers on all these high grade Gundam seat kits. The older, older ones, at least. I think there's like some 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 mishaps, but you can't help it. <laughs> and with the dual salt shroud. I, 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 I guess they completely skipped over the dual gun, like without the assault shroud. Like, you just take off the assault shroud, and there you go, you have a dual gun. So I, I, it makes sense to me why they don't have a separate release, you know? I mean, the assault shroud's sick, anyways. Why would you take it off? Uh, you don't have any Dragon Ball Z SH figures. Uh, no new ones this week, but we do have Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball SH figure arts. You can check our website, just, you know, type in figure arts, you'll see a bunch of them. You can type in Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z figure arts, you know. 
Th that that'll just take you to like a whole um, other uh, like a whole list, or you can click on like one of the sidebars, and it should take you there. But yeah, we do have Dragon Ball Z figures, figure arts, SH figure arts. Yeah. Okay, so let me put these five guns back. More seed stuff. More seed stuff. We have the Lagao. If you guys remember, it's, the, it's like a Baku, but with uh, slight upgrades. Uh, yeah, it's just like, I mean, it's pretty, oh, and I guess the most notable <laughs> notable thing about it between this and the Baku is that this is orange. <laughs> it's a bright orange. But it blends in better with the desert. <laughs> also, it has a tank mode as opposed to, I mean, the dog mode is still there, but it has a, a, a real tank mode, basically. Mobile armor modes, that's really cool. Yeah. Okay. So that's the Lagao. <laughs> Lagao. <laughs> we had the Calamity before, and we still have it. That was just stocked like a little earlier than these two, but we finally have their uh, his uh, counterparts. The Raider Gundam and the Forbidden Gundam. High grade Raider, high grade Forbidden. The full mechanics are amazing for these, by the way. Highly recommend them. Yeah, so the high grade Raider. I mean, I think this one can still, yeah. It's a parts formation, you just have to rearrange them stuff, but it can transform into its uh, mobile armor mode. <laughs> and then this one, same thing. You can just flip over the backpack and then it enters its crab mode. <laughs> crab mode. Yeah. So high grades with some gimmicks, some gimmicks. These are some of the older high rates too, so that's kind of impressive that they can still do that. <laughs> this one's also brand new. See, I, for, I, I forgot how to pronounce this. It's pronounced a special way. Sigu, Sigu, I think Sigu type deep arms. <laughs> uh, seed, seed, and its acronyms. I swear, I, I have no idea what this means. I have no idea what the acronym stands for. I just call it the Deep Arms. Piloted by Shiho, apparently. It's actually really cool looking, though. If they made like like a Master Grade of this, like like just like the Zaku Warrior, that'd be really cool. Or like the Jin. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, do you guys have any Bad Batch Star Wars figures? Yeah, we have a bunch of like. Well, they're usually the Star Wars um, um, black um, black series ones. Those are the ones that we have. Uh, for the Bad Batch specifically. Yeah. Hopefully that uh, answers the question there. Oh, I see another question. Uh, Tamashi Collector Yujiro Hanma when? You're talking about the Storm Collectibles one? We have it ordered. We don't know when. We don't know when they're arriving, unfortunately. Uh, we never know. <laughs> if they're released elsewhere, we should get them. I don't know. Sometime soon. Sometime after. <laughs> Just because we usually we buy a lot of them, so I don't say we buy, we order a lot of them. It's just whenever we order it, we have to wait for them to ship it to us. Hmm. Well, they have to do all about processing, so it's, uh, that, it's basically not on our end. <laughs> Hope that answers your question. Yeah, Whew. little rose, a uh, flower decal right here. Is that daffodils? Someone, I don't know flowers, but I think they're daffodils. Really cool, really cool. This one's another sick one. Ooh, this with the perfect strike Gundam too. This is the high grade strike Rouge with its IWSP unit instead. So this is another variant. Oh, this yeah, what do you know? Mobile suit variant. So this is the first variant type, I guess. This is the IWSP backpack? There was a mass grade version of it before too. I think that one came after this high grade, but it's freaking sick. So the IWSP is just basically this shield with a Gatling gun attached to it. And then double cannons as opposed to the Strike Rouge Utori. That one has like one missile launcher here and then like the sword or something on the other one. And this one here is double cannons, a Gatling gun, and the big blade, a big melee blade right here. Yeah, this is the IWSP backpack. Oh, let me see. Do you know if Hasbro is, or do you know if Hasbro is re-releasing X-Men 97 Marvel Legends like Rogue. Uh, possibly? <laughs> we, 
we just got the Marvel like ninety seven retro the X Men um, ninety seven retro ones like two a week or two ago, so I don't know if they'll reissue the other ones. If they do, we'll get them for sure. Don't worry. Just again, we don't know if they'll re release, and if they release, we don't know when they'll re like send it to over to us. I hope that answers your question. And finally, we've got restocks of the Gundam Astray blue frame. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Just the blue frame. It's got the shield and the bazooka. I believe it has a one rifle with the two. Yeah, one rifle with the two. This is the first iteration of the blue frame. Yeah, pretty early. Number 13. But it also comes in like the second revise, uh, um, S frame frame D, the blue frame D, that kind of thing. But a bunch of extra equipment, basically. Just a quick little restock. More restocks coming. There are more high grade restocks coming. Oh, there you go. From high grade UC, we've got the Zaka 2 FZ. This is the streamlined version of the Zaka 2. It's excited to upgrade it. It's the one that fights the Alex NT1, if you guys can see. Um, any updates on Gundam Stargazer high grade or Strike Noir high grade? Uh, unfortunately, no. <laughs> I, I, I uh, as I stated before, actually, all most of these are a surprise reissue. <laughs> so, uh, I, honestly, we we don't know when they decide to reissue stuff. It's just when they do reissue, we 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 order it, we get it back, we get some back, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, no updates, unfortunately, for that just yet. Sorry, that doesn't answer anything. It's just unfortunately we don't even have the answers for that. So yeah, so moving on. This is another one we haven't had in a while. Haggard UC Dom Tropin. It's basically the the Dom, but it has a like special thrusters on its feet or something to keep it like moving faster than the other Doms and stuff like that. On the surface world, at least in space, it's almost the same. <laughs> this is a Dom with new equipment. Nothing too crazy, but if you like the Dom, here you go, another version. That's back in stock. No, no problem, no problem. A bunch of the uh, core Gundam units and like an armor's attachments right here. First, we have restock of the Jupiter Gundam. It's a portmanteau or a combination of like Jupiter and Five. This is the planetary system for the core Gundam is really cool. This one in particular has like two bits. It has like um, an extra special beam like Gatling gun. Meant for space battle. I forgot what uh, what the description for it was gonna was made for. In the sense that this one is made for like deep sea combat. The Mercury one. See my segue there? <laughs> Might have been a little abrupt. I don't know. Let me know, guys. Yeah. So Mercury one. Get it on our camera. Uh, do you guys still have legendary Super Saiyan Goku SH figures? Yes, we do. <laughs> still in stock. You can get online, or you can just come to the store pick it up. Or I think we still have it in the Frank's location too. I just don't know the exact stock. They just took it over there. We don't know what happens after that. <laughs> yeah, and then back to Earth, Earth Three. So all these have been just either armor sets. Or like core Gundams themselves, in, in particular. So like this one, for example, just two core Gundams, but they come with the armor set, as opposed to this Mercury one. It's just the armor set. So just a heads up. Phew. There's so many restocks. Put them all back really quick, because now we've got. To move down here. This is ever popular. I and mean, everyone loves cup noodle. And guess what? We've got cup noodles in as a kit. <laughs> like not, not 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 the food one, but just the actual kit. <laughs> but it's based on the food one. Yeah. So now you can build your own ramen pieces. A ramen cup basically. You have the noodles here, the different cup like base right here, sticker, etc. decals. 
So hilarious. <laughs> it's even got the little like shrimp and food bits right here. <laughs> so you can really, I mean, literally recreate a cup noodle. Oh, was that you that asked about the, 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 the cup noodle? Yeah. I, I told, like I'm saying, like, we honestly don't know when stuff comes or when it's supposed to come. We just have an, like a general idea. But this was a surprise, and like, boom. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come back, come back when you can. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll have it ready for you now. <laughs> All right, next up, we have a restock. I mean, we still had some in stock, but yeah, get, um, it's just nice to get more. We got the Millennium Puzzle for those for those duelists out there who are confident in solving the puzzle without the instructions, because it comes with instructions. But if you can do it without the instructions, I'll call you Yugi. You have to prove it though. You have to prove it. <laughs> you can't just say, oh, I built it without the instruction manuals. No, you have to do it in front of me. Then I'll call you Yugi. <laughs> Moving on from there, we have the real great tall geese. This is just another restock too, because yeah, we've had we've had another stock of it come in like last week or two weeks ago. Ugh, it all blurs. But yeah, real great tall geese. It's about this time too, when like after the unicorn and stuff like that, is when these real grades have, are like just really, really good all of a sudden. Like the older real grades, I'll, I'll, I'll readily admit they're like they need some extra care because the the inner the pre molded inner frames are just really bad. <laughs> but right around here is when like, like the unicorn and after is like when the stuff gets really good. I mean, well, speaking of pre-unicorn ones, the <laughs> red frame astray. So, like, this inner frame actually was a little decent. I, I don't know what it is about these astray, like, kits. Like, the master, old master grade's really good, even compared to the master grades of its time. <laughs> this real grade's really good compared. Like, I know I just said stuff about how older real grades, you have to watch out for pre-molded inner frames and stuff like that. But this one's just, I don't know. It's, it's something about these astray frames, it's just... They actually hold, they hold up way better than all the other ones. Yeah, I mean, it's super poseable too. Uh, maybe it's the astray luck, you know, low gill, because he's an engineer, right? So like he's a, he's a, uh, his luck kind of just transfers onto his kits as well. Who's to say? But this one, the Amatsumina, very solid, very solid. We've also got more in stock of RG Eva Unit 00. That's the one powered by Ray. I wonder if there's any good pictures of her. Nope. Okay. That's fine. You guys know. <laughs> yeah. So this is the, I mean, it's a yellow version of the Evas. I don't know. What, uh, it's got some special gimmicks here and there. But yeah, we've had it in stock. And then again, we've got more in stock. We're flying through these ones because most of these are restocks. So, you guys have seen it already before, just showing you that we still have even more. <laughs> For example, Barbados Lupus. Slim down Mace Chan. And then it also comes with its uh, arm. Oh, where is it? Arm cannons right here. There you go. <laughs> so, that's another restock. Another restock, we've got the high grade Gundam Origin. Zaku 2 Red Comet version. Hopefully you guys can see. Yep. Zaku 2 painted red. We've got some extra like stickers and stuff like that. Yep. Really solid. These the high grade Gundam the orange line. Uh, uh, origin. Orange. <laughs> origin line. I feel the the high grade Origin Arc Cindy 8 is one of the best versions of a high grade Arc Cindy 8 out there, too. Can't wait for that to restock as well. But we got Shars, so that's really good, too. And of course, you guys have seen these three already just last week, actually. We got even more now of the high grade XA Repair 2. The high grade Reborns Gundam. And, well, this one came 
I mean, a while ago before. But here's the Hygrid Curios. I think this came like a month or two ago before the others, which is funny. Like this came along with this 007 Sword G, which is a, a variant of the 00, so I don't know. Like Bandai, they ship in mysterious ways. As long as it gets to us, right? Cool, cool, cool. Woo! Fine, like we ran out actually just like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. The last one got sold like, like that, that, um, that time. But now we've got more. MGEX, Master Grade Extreme, Strike Freedom Gunman. Absolutely a fantastic kit. Lots of stickers though, lots of tiny stickers. But I mean, um, it's just an uh, engineering feat. And also, it's like, really cool gold plated parts. Extremely posable, solid build. Can't complain about it. And tiny stickers can be fixed with uh, good tweezers, right? <laughs> Oh, I got equipment. That high grade C destroy gun looks amazing, but unfortunately, I don't have any room for that big guy. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like, um, how tall is that? 30 something, 30 something centimeters. This tall was fully built, and like this wide, and then the beam effect parts makes it even wider. Oh, yeah, I I feel like a lot of people would struggle to, to fit that onto their shelves too. So, no fear, our fear. <laughs> it's it's going to be the same for everybody. So another Strike Freedom, this is the older version, but with an effect parts. So that's that's kind of what makes up for it. We got the Master Great Strike Freedom, full burst mode. So this one's really cool. It's got, I, I, I wish I had, I should've brought the other one, the older one without the full burst. But this one basically has super shiny gold frame inner parts. It's like it's in, like a, a better plated gold. And it comes with the Dragoon effect parts, so it makes it look like they're flying out. That way you can simulate the full burst mode that you see in the anime. And a special stand for them too, so that's really sick. Yeah, that's why this box is extra long too, because uh, <laughs> it's got the Strike Freedom box is about this long, and then extra parts for the stand and the, and the uh, effect parts. Really cool, really cool. got some perfect grades now if I just to finish off and cap off the the, the, the live stream oh I'm easy do you guys have the Masquerade Blast Impulse in stock that's the last one that I need because I already have this oh Blast Impulse is ex unfortunately is an exclusive so I, I don't think we'll have it for a little bit not until they not until we get ours basically yeah so now right now sorry sorry our fear <laughs> but when they come just pay attention watch out for our posts and stuff You'll, you'll find, you'll, you'll um, as long as you keep watching out for what we post, you'll know when we get it. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, oh, I turned it around. It's so big. Oh, geez. And I can't see it until I, like, you know, look at the camera. Perfect grade. Perfect strike. <laughs> and let's see if I get the, well, you guys saw the high grade. I'm not going to drop this just for it. Boom. So this is the new version of the Perfect Grade Strike that was released before. But now it comes with the Perfect Grade sized packs for all of them. The Ale, the Sword, and the Launcher. I mean, yeah, no kidding. The Destroy Gundam is so big. I mean, look, look at it compared to the Perfect Grade box. It's just about the same size. That's pretty crazy. I mean, this one is definitely bigger because this one has way more stuff. But like if I brought if I brought one of the smaller perfect grades, like I mean smaller perfect grade, it's funny to say, the high grade box actually competes. Yeah. Yeah, perfect grade, perfect strike. Comes with that the OG perfect strike. Oh uh, PG strike. So I don't know when this came out, like 2005 or 2006, something like that. This one came later. When was this release date? 2020. Yeah. So these parts are really good. This um PG strike gun them is a little better. Yeah, PG does got the extras though. It's getting heavy, so I'm gonna put it down. <laughs> yep, we have the perfect great, perfect strike. That's a lot of perfects in stock now.
this one actually is really cool too. We got another um, restock of the Perfect Grade Strike Rouge along with the Sky Grasp. Oh, I'm gonna turn it around so you can see what it looks like. <laughs> So yeah, the Perfect Grade Strike Rouge and then the Sky Grasper, I'm pretty certain that it can fit the parts of the Perfect Grade Perfect Strike. Because that's what it was meant to do. Yeah, and then just the restock of it. Really sick. It's, it's, it's the same base as the original Perfect Grade Strike. It just has a that ale backpack instead, and it's pink. <laughs> pink for Kagali. And last but not least, we've got the old school perfect grade Wing Zero Custom. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that box art. So majestic. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I think this is around this time they started adding more box arts like to the actual like box itself. So that's really sick. As opposed to some of the older ones that just said Zaku 2 like six times all around. <laughs> yep. Now this is a shelf piece too, the perfect grade wing zero. Ooh. You can do a kneeling pose, yeah. And then the stereotypical uh, the typical like wing double beam buster rifle pose. Um a question. Do you still have the Chumli SH figure arts? Uh, not right now, no. That one's definitely not in stock as of, as of right now. Unfortunately. So yeah, that's all the new kits we have this week. <laughs> I say that's all, but wow, that was so many. Thanks, you guys, whoever stayed all this way to, to see all of them. <laughs> hey, I mean, and if those of you guys who are just watching after the stream is posted, that's fine too. But this one's this one's that this, this one's an hour long for a reason. There's just so many things that came this week. My gosh, oh, man, there's even more coming tomorrow. So watch out for that weekly post we have tomorrow. There's another shipment coming. I thought this was a lot. There's gonna be even more coming. <laughs> yeah. So now that I showed you guys all the kits, um, pre-orders. Yeah. So I talked about the pre-orders here. Remember, I, um, just to reiterate that we're processing them as we speak. So either today or tomorrow, they should be all be done. But if your pre-order is combined with any other pre-orders that haven't been released yet, they will not be processed or like you know completed until every part of your pre-order order is also here. Yeah. Um, and then oh yeah, build night. So this coming, oh build night, build day. Unfortunately, we have to postpone it from this Saturday to next Saturday, so April twentieth. Because April 13th, they said it's a super high chance of rain. And then, unfortunately, I don't think we can prepare for that. So we'll postpone until next week. Next weekend, basically. Sorry, guys. I know you guys are excited. Just one week delay. Hopefully, it doesn't can't, um, you know, cramp on too many plans. We understand you know, that it's kind of last minute just to say because the weather has been kind of wonky recently. So, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, Fetty. Yeah, good call. Yeah, definitely not built under, not just pressure weather <laughs> building under bad weather unless you're inside the house not too fun you're windy rainy all that stuff yeah but yeah i mean that's all we have for you this week um yeah i, I should reiterate we also are, are going to level up con the one in las vegas just don't have any details on it we just know for sure we're going yep and then other than that, if you guys want to see anything else that I showcased before, let me know. Like, you guys want to see another, like, look at it. Otherwise, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you got 30 seconds. You got 30 seconds. Let me know what you think, what you guys want to ask, and then otherwise, we'll call it a night. Okay, any more Gundam X high grades in the store? We have the double X in stock, I remember, but the X Gundam is sold out. We have never had uh, like the Air Master or like the Versago, and, and we don't have the other ones. We only had the X and the double X, but right now only double X. Hopefully that uh, helps your question, answer your question. Okay, guys, so in less than the next five seconds, I see a comment. We'll call it end for the live. 
Thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys hopefully next week.